All rise. Case number 23, Hobson versus Mr. Funk Volume. The Honorable Dunsky Douglas presiding. All right, everybody, sit down. This is really getting on my nerves. You guys are taking up too much of my time. Marcus Hobson, please come to the stand. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? Homie, I made you rich, paid your rent, damn right. Biting the hand that was feeding you, this shit don't make any sense. Nigga, what the fuck? What the fuck? You know this is that real shit. How you gon' forget who built this, huh? I'm the one who made the company all the millions. Now you got problems to deal with. Man, this is tough luck. See, a couple weeks ago we was buzz. And that crew that was killing shit was us. Till you turned on me, homie, this fucked up. I ain't keeping this shit on the hush, hush. On my chest, I just carry too much stuff. I done had it, enough is enough, bro. Plus, I needed something to get my buzz up. You don't fuck with the wrong dude. Ain't no telling what Hobson is gon' do Creepin' up on you Quit your sleepin', I told you This a motherfuckin' journey we finna go through If I ain't had so much to lose I swear to God I'd probably beat up and choke you Damn. Nigga, this is that raw shit right. That organic flow you probably see up in Whole Foods Shepard made timbers Something's fishy about you, Mr. D. Ritter When I told you that I wanted new management Why the fuck you throw a fit and seem bitter? Why you catch an attitude whenever I question you Bet on my fuckin' percentages? I know why, why? You been bending it in your benefit Your honor, I'm innocent This nigga crazy I'm I'm telling all of my people, you tell him. He taking all of my casinos. See, he has a gambling issue. We taste the cash and blows it all like casinos. Damn. Uh -oh. When I bring up my royalties, you start avoiding me. That's some disloyalty. You woke up the evil boy in me. Your ass is poisoning. Tell me why you would destroy me. This was a fucking vision that I had created with your brother, but you too infatuated with the money. You killed it and ran it straight into the gutter. Now I think why I make DA and me the boss. You keep pissing a whole lot of people off. Our whole label came out with a weak result. You on that same bullshit to make a bro. Hold up, hold up, I got some more shit to say. Yeah. It's supposed to be fuck all you it? Thought it was music above all the business But you just said fuck all you niggas You tarnished the brand and you started the front volume fitness Come on, I really think Got us portraying something we really ain't How we supposed to be ill when you on our website With a shake weight trying to be Billy Blake Nigga, thanks Four ain't nobody trying to lift weights We just want to hit up the studio when it's rap and do shows But you don't understand the culture of hip hop You a lame ass nigga, damn half the crew knows New ways, Jerry Heller, a scary fella I hate your fucking name, every letter I'm very fed up You acting like an ordinary heifer I'ma take you to the mortuary, dress up we gave you our trust, then you had us cornered You got us a shitty label, deal with Warner And if I confront you about it, you tell me I need counseling and I got a disorder You send me your joy in this horror Shitty hotels, no sleep, with no food to order Meet and grease every single day is torture How you expecting an A1 performer? Every time something's wrong, with the same thing what? Blah, 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 you just blame me Damn. Then you tell Brooklyn and Jamie Damn. Now they both thinking I'm crazy Damn. I deal with this on the daily Damn. My career mentally rapes me Damn. I won't let this nigga break me He praying dizzy writers go replace me Shady What are your fucking motives, Dame? Let's talk about it Mmm, you're our manager, our labor owner, our accountant Hmm, that's kinda tricky Something is fishy, that's risky We just don't even know We go with the flow while you rowing the boat You keeping it simple-minded Cause you know when our only concern is just hoping we blow So when all the money come in from our album and tours You sit there and soak in the dough When did we ever ask about the gross? When did we ever ask about the net? You would just hand us money from our shows Cause you knew we wasn't questioning the checks Nigga, I trusted you with my life You up your percentage, so I'm making less? Fuck you, bitch. You get no respect. This is what happens coming for your neck. Bless. All you care about is making money. You don't care about a fucking soul, though. You just fluctuate our dollars up and down at your convenience like a fucking pogo. You been screwing everybody on the label on the low, and they don't even know, though. So good luck, Jaren, Dizzy, Hopper, Swizz. I'm going solo. Nigga, I don't know what you thought. You think I can't see the blood of the walls? I ain't going down, nigga. I don't know what you thought. I can clearly see the blood on the wall. Blood on the wall. That ain't going down, nigga. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you be on it. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows you be on it. Ain't got time for your bullshit. 
Everybody knows who be only. Ain't got time for your bullshit. Everybody knows who be only. Change is one of the most difficult things that we face, but change is inevitable. One reason we don't like change is we get comfortable where we are. We get used to our friends, our job, the place we live, and even if it's not perfect, we accept it because it's familiar. And what happens is because we're not willing to change, we get stuck in what God used to do instead of moving forward into what God is about to do. And just because God's blessed you where you are doesn't mean you can just sit back and settle there. You have to stay open to what God is doing now. What worked five years ago may not work today. If you're going to be successful, you have to be willing to change. Every blessing is not supposed to be permanent. Every provision is not supposed to last forever. We should constantly evaluate our friendships. Who's speaking into your life? Who are you depending on? Make sure they're not dragging you down limiting you from blossoming. Everybody is not supposed to be in our life forever. If you don't get rid of the wrong friends, you will never meet the right friends.